it's no secret that AI can be a hard and even sometimes scary concept to understand, but one doctor here at UCSD is putting it to good use to help fight the opioid crisis. It's always been my dream and passion to integrate um, computer science, data sciences with, with medicine. Dr. Rodney Gabriel is the principal investigator of a UCSD study funded by Welcome Leap, an organization that grants money to research projects that help fight addiction. Imagine that you, we can have a single test or a, a battery of tests where any patient can get this test and it'll tell you this patient is a high risk of addiction. The model takes a patient's genetic, biological and environmental conditions and assesses their risk for addiction. We don't have enough resources in our healthcare system to treat every patient um, extensively, but what if we can find a way to um, better identify those that need more help early on so that we can allocate our resources more effectively. If a patient is labeled high risk, their treatment is up to their doctor. But with the knowledge provided by the model, they could still be able to receive pain medicine, along with resources like extra monitoring and check-ins. A patient's healthcare journey changes every day. We can track using the electronic medical record system how their risk changes as their healthcare changes. Let doctors know, hey, because of this, the patient's risk of addiction is increasing. We'll do that by using artificial intelligence technology. Gabriel also acknowledged the fear that sometimes is associated with AI. It's not transparent. So we have to do a better job, better job of making sure our predictive models are more transparent. And to do that, we have a, a way to have the models explain to the providers why it's coming up with these predictions. Gabriel's goal is to ensure patient populations around the world can use the model to prevent opioid addiction. The AI technology that I'm talking about is something that any, any institution that has an electronic health record system and the resources to integrate these models, they can use it as well. Pain management can be a very difficult task for a doctor, and a model like this can give them peace of mind when it comes to working with their patients. The goal is just to really um, use this technology, providing the right care to the right patient at the right time. In San Diego, Isabella Roberts, CBS 8 News. Thanks, Isabella.